Hello everyone and welcome to another Swift tutorial. So in this video we're going to be going over optionals. Um, optionals are very helpful because if you have any experience with uh, Java or C Sharp you'll run into errors or times where you will get a null reference exception and it can be very unsafe um, for writing your code. So what optionals does is it tries to um, minimize that as much as possible. So one thing that we can do is, um, well, let's take a look. So we have our class, we have a name, an age, and a profession. So if we place these exclamation points right here, we are implicitly unwrapping. Because if we don't have anything right here, you'll take a look and see that it will give us an error saying, hey, it can't be constructed because um, name, age, and profession will never get initialized. So what you need to do is we can implicitly unwrap these or we can make them optionals. But we're gonna implicitly unwrap these right now um, so that we can see. So if we print uh, person dot age, and we run that, you'll see we get nil. However, if we add, we can actually give an age right here, and then we run that, and we should be able to see the age. There we go. So we see optional right here. So this is an optional. What we can do to actually unwrap this right here is force unwrap it with the exclamation point. The reason why it's an optional is because there may or may not be something here. We created an object with nothing in there, so we're not entirely sure. It can't, it doesn't know specifically if this has actually happened yet or not because this object was created with nothing in it. So saying, hey, there might not be anything here. So um, if, uh, so we can actually unwrap it right here force unwrap it with this uh, exclamation point, and that will actually get rid of the optional. So we can see 23 right there. All right. So now what we can do is we are able now to add more values, and we can do the same thing here. Um, so it's very helpful um, when you would like to um, create an object and then initialize its members later. However, again, um, this can be unsafe because let's say we didn't let's say we didn't have this name here and we just created this um, this object and we didn't have anything here. Or yeah, there's there's no value here, but we're gonna force unwrap it anyway. So if we run this, then we will get unexpectedly found nil while unwrapping an optional value. So that means that we force unwrapped something that didn't actually have anything in it in the first place, and it crashed our code. So that's why optionals are very important, and that's why you got to be careful when a force unwrapping an optional. So we can actually, uh, we'll go into safer ways of unwrapping optionals because again, that sometimes you need to unwrap it and you need to be able to see this, um, to see the value without actual force unwrapping. And so we can, we'll get it, we'll be going into that a little later with guards and, um, and other methods that we can use. So I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Thank you.